The Evil Within was an overlooked survival horror gem. It may have been rough around the edges with some performance and gamma play issues, but it was a much appreciated return to old survival horror design philosophies. Scarce ammo, unforgiving difficulty, intentionally limiting controls, elements like these filled the void that Resident Evil had failed to capture until earlier this year with Resident Evil 7. Now, The Evil Within 2 challenges Capcom's spot for best survival horror game of 2017. It's nearly identical to its predecessor with mechanics and controls, but will its big changes scare you away or pull you in? If there's one thing that players were divided about with The Evil Within, it would be its convoluted story and pacing. Things are set in a steady motion with Sebastian Castellanos' investigation of a crime scene at a hospital, but after he's knocked unconscious, everything goes off the rails once he finds himself being transported to random locations without rhyme or reason. The story also drip-feeds parts of his past and how he ends up here, so everything was hard to follow and care about. We thought the pacing was great from a gamma play standpoint to keep the player on edge, but this came at the cost of little personal investment in what you were doing and why beyond surviving. The sequel directly addresses these issues from the start.